Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Balls Gadget Review Channel. Today I'm going to review a new soap and this one's pretty interesting because it's pine tar and this is by Dr. Squatch. It says men's natural soap and it even has a little hole where you can smell the soap. So I'm going to do that right now. And yeah, it does smell like pine. Let's see. We're raising the bar. For years, men have been forced to settle for boring, low-quality soaps with harsh chemical ingredients. Now you can turn your shower up a notch with Dr. Squatch Natural Men's Soap, handcrafted with natural, nature's finest ingredients that your skin craves. So yeah, this is made with, let's see, lathers without harsh chemicals, handcrafted in small batches, cold process directions, work up a lather, apply again if needed, rinse off. Um, ingredients, olive oil, sustainable palm oil, coconut oil, shea butter, orange essential oil, pine fragrance, pine tar, oatmeal, sand, activated charcoal, and kaolin clay, K-A-O-L-I-N clay, and sea salt. So as far as ingredients go, those are pretty quality, and I would expect quality ingredients because, you know, this little bar of soap costs around nine bucks on Amazon. Um, got good reviews, but for nine bucks, I would say it's quite small for what you're getting. It says made in the USA. I think that's the trade-off. When you buy online, sometimes when you have things that are packed, you know, weigh quite a bit, they skimp in size to save on shipping costs. So, um, you know, if I had to do it again, I'd probably try to find this in my local store because I'm sure you could find something equivalent that's less expensive. And if you're looking for handcrafted soaps, TJ Maxx is my favorite store to go to, as I've mentioned in other videos. So this is what it looks like. Let's just uh, give it a smell. Yeah, it smells really, really good. Get a lot of that pine smell. And I'm gonna take a shower, test it out, but also I'm gonna show you, um, kind of do a hand soap. All right, let's do a lather test here. Got the water running. Let's get to the other setting, and here we go. Yeah, look at that. Lots of lather. Didn't take much at all from the soap. Kind of, it's a thick lather. You can definitely feel it on your hands. It's like a film, a coating. Let me give it a smell. Yeah, you get that pine smell. I wish there was a little bit more pine smell. All right, so the shower is done and I'm gonna smell my skin here. And yeah, unfortunately, I don't smell any pine at all. Maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. But if you're expecting kind of a really, really strong, I mean, it's a bl it's black soap. It says pine tar. So to me, I expected kind of like a, you're basically putting pitch on your skin and you'd smell like a pine tree afterwards. Um, that's definitely not the case. Um, it's a little bit on the light side of scent. And I've tested quite a few soaps on this channel before. Um, one thing I did notice is on Amazon, which that's where I bought it. Uh, when I purchased it, it was around 850, and now I think it's about nine. It's close to 10 bucks. It's, a, it's like 9.95 or something like that. So the price has gone up a little bit. Something I've noticed kind of as a trend on Amazon seems like during this this time with the pandemic, prices have gone up a little bit, especially on Amazon. Um, so just something to consider that it's even more than what it used to be. Um, I do like the fact that, you know, the it's made with really high quality ingredients and I've reviewed several soaps on this channel and this is one of the higher quality ingredients I've seen. I mean, the first ingredient is olive oil. I don't think I've ever seen that. I mean, sustainable palm oil, coconut oil, shea butter. I mean, all sorts of good stuff and also it has a gritty te texture. That's something I've noticed as you're, you know, washing that it has a gritty texture. There's actually sand in here, so it exfoliates as you wash. Um, but the thing is, is I just think for the amount of bar you're getting, and let me see how many ounces. This is a five ounce bar, so it's, it's pretty small. Um, to me, 10 bucks for five ounces is just a little, little bit too much. I mean, if you have tons and tons of money, I would say go for it. I would say for most people, you can get a really high quality soap. Just check out TJ Maxx. Uh, they have some really nice soaps and also Kroger stores. You know, there's the Dr. Uh, Bronner soap. 
that you can look at and I've reviewed it on this channel before um, that's another good one and those are around you know five six bucks at TJ Maxx you can spend about four or five and they're they have oversized bars that are a lot bigger than this so I would say if you want to try it out go for it for most people I would just say pass on this one I mean it's a it's a high quality ingredient soap I just think it's too small and when you label something like pine tar I would expect a little bit more scent coming out of it it just doesn't quite have enough I mean no one's gonna say oh did you are you using a new soap or anything like that I don't think anyone's gonna notice because it's just not strong enough so uh, but yeah let me know what you think have you tried this out Dr. Squatch um, if you're watching this and you're from the company and you want to send me some samples uh, definitely would be interested in talking with you um, if you want to support my channel patreon.com slash nine malls that's another way you can support my channel uh, patreon.com slash nine malls you get exclusive content and as more people join the more content I'll produce exclusively for patreon so definitely check that out and if you want to shop the products that review on my channel you can check out my Amazon store that's in the link and you can just browse kind of the hundreds of products that are viewed on this channel it's kind of fun um, to just browse and see um, you know not only my um, uh, you know review but also other people you know other people's thoughts so check that out as well and if you don't do anything of, of that sort uh, like share comment all that share with your friends and family tell everyone you know about this channel and yeah I really appreciate it so thanks for watching everyone until next time I'll see you later